Hey guys, Jason here with the One Stop How To Guys, bringing you episode 28 of Practical Drupal Development. Now, in this episode, what we're going to do is actually prepare this main content region um, to start theming it up a little nicer. We might... Um I think what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this red line, we're going to put these two items here side by side, and then we're going to bring this footer in so that it's not like crazy. We're going to, the footer is going to happen much like we did this top piece here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into our style sheet and we're going to copy this three comment here. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste it a couple of times underneath here. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do custom four here, and we're going to say that this is the main, um, uh, we'll do content, homepage slider. That's what we want, homepage slider. And then number five down here is going to be our homepage. And number six down here is going to be our uh, footer. And so all we got to do is come back up to our table of contents and we're going to copy this and we'll paste it three times and we know that we want the homepage slider, the homepage by itself, and also the footer. And I know this seems a little time consuming, but it's totally worth it when you go to edit your site later on uh, to have everything be so clear and organized and you can find things. Um, I'm just going to increase this so that it matches up because I can't stand not having it do that. So this one down here we're not going to use yet, but we'll use it later, so I'm just going to leave it there. All right, so the first thing we're going to tackle is the easiest bit, and it's going to be the footer. Um, so all we got to do is come down here, inspect the element, scroll down, and we can see that we have a footer wrap. And then right inside the footer wrap, we have this region footer. And the region footer is the one that we want to copy. And we're going to paste that in there. And we are just going to say that we want a width of 960 pixels. And we just want to margin zero auto it. And we are going to save that. Now, we are not going to do anything more to the footer than that right there, because all we want to do is lay this out. There's going to be a video all to itself just on theming up this footer region. So for now, we're just trying to lay content out, and that's exactly how we want it to be right there. So the next challenge is we got to get rid of this red line that comes by default. And if we kind of move around through here, we can pretty much see where it is and we can tell that it's on the wrap. Now there are two ways that we can get rid of this. One of which would be to go over to our style sheet, uh, call the wrap, put border top none on it and then mark it as important. Or we could take the slightly easier route which we're going to do and we're just going to copy that call there, control F, command F to find that and we're just going to come in here where it's being declared and you can either delete it or put in none. So we'll save that, and that's going to go away. Uh, we also have a little line here, and I'm not sure what that's coming off of. So let's check this out. That's the breadcrumbs, and we do not want the breadcrumbs to even be shown here. So I'm going to log in really quick, and actually we'll cover that in another video um, once we start theming up this slideshow. We won't worry about that right now. Um, we're going to take this and take a look at what we have here, because we need to get these two elements side by side. Now, we don't have a side by side content region uh, here on the home page. Now, some themes may have a right and a left content. This one doesn't. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the width of each of these to about 50%, and then we're just going to kind of float them next to each other. So we need to get the elements themselves. Uh, you can see here we have region content, which is going to kind of contain both of them. You'll see we have block system main, and then we have our news block. So that's the two elements here where we want to set the width and float them. So we are going to copy these and we are going to come all the way back down since that brought us pretty high up to our homepage styles here. And we are going to call the ID on those guys. And it looks like I accidentally copied nothing there. So there's one. And 
here's the other. Now, since we are applying basically the same styles to both of these, we can call them both comma separated in our style sheet. And then we'll save that and flip back over so that we can live code both of these at the same time. Here's our call, call here. We will say width of 50% on both of them. Um, and then what we'll do is we will display them in line block. And we will play with the width until we get them right about where we want them there. Uh, we're going to add some padding to each of these. Nothing on the top and the bottom, but we do want maybe 10 on the right and left. And now that's going to increase the width by 20, um, so we're going to have to compensate for that just a little bit. And then we are going to vertical align them to the top. That way we know that they're both as far to the top as they can possibly be. Now, you will see here that this recent news is a bit lower just because it's got this uh, margining on top, and this home link here actually isn't a part of this. So we're going to have to tweak with that a little bit, but we're going to copy this here, and we are going to paste it on over here, and then just tab this over. and give a refresh here. And that should get us exactly the result we want. And now we're gonna play around with this little page title for a second and see if we give it a width of 50% or so, um, if we can't get a little bit of a different result here and it doesn't look like it. So right now we're just gonna leave that alone until we get down to theming here. But what we do wanna do is come to the recent news H2 within this guy here and we want to take the margin off the top of it so moving it around won't be quite as difficult as it would be if that margin was there. So we're just going to say margin top right there just like that, margin dash top, and we're just going to set it to zero pixels and save that, and that should scoot up just a hair, which is perfect. That's exactly how we want this laid out. We have our header region here at the top, we have our homepage slider here, and then we have our right and left content regions. And this is looking exactly the way that we wanted it to look. So with that, we are going to end yet another short episode where all we did was kind of lay things out. Now I'm trying to keep these videos short so that, um, we're not covering too much in one go, and that each thing that we are covering is centrally focused on a specific item or idea. In this case, we were just laying out the content. So, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next episode of One Stop How To Guys Practical Drupal Development. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.